Hi boys and girls, Miss Toby here, and I've got a story today, and it's called The Three Little Super Pigs. We're going to read about these super pigs. And here's the title page. It says The Three Super Pigs, and this story was written and illustrated. That means she wrote and drew the pictures, and her name is Claire Evans, is the author and illustrator. So, once upon a time, there were three little pigs who captured the big bad wolf in the house made of bricks. The hungry wolf went down the chimney into the pan of boiling water. He huffed and he puffed, but it was no use. He fell into the pig's trap. And there's the wolf. He doesn't look very happy. So, after the wolf did that, up, oh, they called the police and the police took him to jail. Oh, well, that's probably a good place for the wolf. That way he can keep everybody else safe, right? So the three little pigs smiled and they waved goodbye to their big bad wolf. So the citizens of Fairyland were very happy that the big bad wolf had been defeated. The three pigs were awarded special superhero status. They became known as the three super pigs. Those three super pigs worked together and they rebuilt the town out of bricks and kept everyone safe. And the people said, we love you, super pigs. And they are having their celebration. From that moment, the super pigs spent all of their days being heroes and enjoying their newfound fame. When they weren't greeting their fans, they were fighting crime and stopping nursery rhyme bad guys. Oh, well, there they are with Red Riding Hood. They must be taking care of that, uh, that old wolf. There's Goldilocks. Goldilocks is in trouble for eating all the porridge, isn't she? But while they were doing that, deep inside the happily never after jail, the very angry wolf was plotting his revenge. Oh, there's what it looks like where he lives. It doesn't look very happy, does it? And there's the wolf he's plotting his revenge. That means he's planning about how he's going to get pigs again. Uh-oh, that sounds like pigs might have trouble down the road here. A few weeks later, the super pigs were called to investigate a new crime. Mysteriously, one by one, bricks were starting to disappear all around fairyland. This was strange. The super pigs were on the case. If you look carefully at this picture, you can see there's Rapunzel up in her tower, isn't she? And it looks like there are little missing bricks. All over the place, do you see all these empty spots? I wonder where the bricks are going. Later that day, the pigs got some shocking news. They were so surprised the big bad wolf had escaped from jail. Uh-oh. Those super pigs better take care of things. The residents of Fairyland were surprised and scared, and they once again turned to Super Pig for help. Don't worry, said the three heroes. We'll find that wolf and make him pay. The three little super pigs hunted high and low, far and wide, long and hard, but they couldn't find the big bad wolf anywhere. Uh-oh. But look. Hiding behind that tree, and look what he's got in the wheelbarrow. <gasps> Missing bricks. I wonder what he's going to do. The pigs searched everywhere for clues. Some people claimed they'd seen the wolf dressed up as an old lady. You're working hard to solve the, the crime. So the pigs rounded up grandmas in fairyland, but the wolf was a master of disguise, and they just couldn't spot him. Hmm, I wonder where that wolf is. He's rounded up all the grannies. He still got the grannies, so he's got to be there. Hmm, let's see what happens. Every day, more and more bricks disappeared from fairyland, and as it became nighttime, the whole town locked themselves indoors, too frightened to go out. They hoped the super pigs would find the wolf soon. He was up to something big and bad. Uh oh. What's he doing? That sneaky wolf. Are there all the people there inside their houses? Back at home, the first super pig was relaxing, and he sensed something strange. Suddenly, a dark shadow fell across the room. Shadow. Hmm. 
big bad wolf cried super pig oh no i don't need to huff and puff i don't need to puff and huff i don't need to blow your house down because i'm already inside replied the pointy-eared wolf and the pig ran out the front door but he found a terrible surprise uh -oh, that wolf is back isn't he oh no i wonder what happened that cunning wolf had built a gigantic wall around the super pig's houses using the stolen bricks from fairyland and the super pig were trapped do you see that big wall it's like a big a big tall tunnel isn't it it's all around the pig's houses i wonder what they're gonna do oh attempting to run away the super pig tried to climb the brick wall using a ladder from the side of his house but it was too short gotcha said the wolf as he captured the whole pig uh-oh i think this might be it for the pigs Unaware of the danger, the second super pig was still at home polishing his medals when he suddenly spotted something out of the corner of his eye. Look who's in the second pig's house. Big bad wolf, shrieked the super pig. I don't need to huff. I don't need to puff. I don't need to blow your house down because I'm already inside, said the wolf. And with a huge scream, the terrified pig ran outside and into the enormous brick wall. Uh-oh bad news desperate to escape the pig jumped on a nearby trampoline bouncing as high as he could but it was no use gotcha said the wolf and he caught the pig in his net uh-oh that pig couldn't get over the wall either yikes two down one to go laughed the wolf as he prepared his delicious meal <gasps> look he's gonna bake them into pies he's rolling out his dough he's got the pigs there oh my goodness this is so scary. The third pig heard all the emotion, the commotion, but he was busy hatching his plan, and the wolf appeared at his window. Uh oh, what's that wolf doing? The super pig grabbed his gear, raced straight out the front door, and down the path as quickly as he could go. Look who's behind him. Uh oh. Working quickly, he freed his captured brothers from their tight pastry blankets. But he was not quick enough. Ha ha ha, there's nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. I built a wall around your houses and now you're trapped inside, laughed the wolf. You're no super pigs. You're my dinner. I don't think so, said the third super pig. He whispered to his brothers, ready, set, let's go. In a flash, they blasted off high into the night sky. The clever brother had outsmarted the silly wolf again, using his jetpack invention to save the day. The super pigs had left the wolf trapped in his own self-built brick jail. The angry wolf raised his pigs. He said, his fists, he saw get you pigs yet. Oh my. Look at those pigs. They blasted off. They're the rocket pigs, aren't they? Pigs, they're flying. Up in the night sky, the three super pigs laughed out loud. You'll never get us, not by the hair of our chinny chin chins. And down below, the citizens of Fairyland cheered. Wow, pigs really can fly. The three little pigs had saved Fairyland from the big bad wolf once again. They truly were superheroes. Hooray for your Oh, they saved the citizens. And that is, is this the end? Like, hmm, I wonder if it is. It looks like that wolf is pretty mad. That was such a fun book. I wouldn't think of the three pigs as superheroes, but that was a fun way of telling the story, wasn't it? I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again soon. Bye, Room 3.